It's 10 o'clock. Now, Fox 35 News you need to know. More women waiting longer these days to expand or even start their families. It's actually, it's kind of nice because you go through that empty nest, but it's kind of, I'm so busy with her. Coming up after the break, we'll talk to some local women who gave birth in their 40s. Find out how waiting to have kids worked for them. Glenn. New tonight at 10, having children later on in life. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, birth rates for women over the age of 40 have hit their highest point since 1967, and many mature mothers say it's keeping them young. Here's Fox 35's Kimberly Wiggins. Keeping up with toddlers like Brooke at Kinder Music in Orlando takes a lot, especially for moms like Sonia Ratcliffe. Well, obviously, I don't have as much energy and don't bend like I did in my 20s. Ratcliffe is 46 with two adult daughters. It's actually, it's kind of nice because you go through that empty nest, but it's kind of, I'm so busy with her. She's just one of many mature mamas trading quality time with a husband for bubble time with a toddler. I'm noticing maybe some more older moms in the last bunch of years. She had Brooke three years ago after she remarried. <laughs> Ratcliffe says their new addition means less socializing and they love it. It's just kind of where we are, I guess, in life right now. Like I said, it's my husband's first child, so you know everything's about her and he'd rather her go with us. Ratcliffe is in good company. The 2008 birth study revealed the highest birth rate since 1967 for women 40 to 44. A University of Virginia economist reveals a possible green reason behind the trend. The study claims every year a woman delays motherhood. She makes 9% more. So a decade delay could double her income, helping buy all of those diapers, bottles, and childcare. I talked to the other moms. Lots of them are my age. 42-year-old Amelia Lyons gave birth to Mark in July. Do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? The UCF professor had her first child, Leo, six years ago. I have a job baby and a tenure baby. What? With Leo, she worried about fitting into parenting classes. Not this time. There was moms of all ages. I was really seeing, you know, moms in their 20s to moms like me in their 40s all kind of having the same anxieties. Lyons admits there are trade-offs. More potty training, fewer parties. I have a lot of things that I did in my 20s and 30s, you know. I, I had a Fulbright do my research in France and lived there for a year. I might not have been able to do that. Both women look forward to helping those in their nest grow while they grow a little grayer. You either have those years early or you have them later, but, you know, I will have years later. I'm going to stay in shape and I'm going to be traveling when I'm in my 60s and 70s, so I'm not worried. <laughs> If I keep myself in shape, then maybe people won't know. <laughs> and attending a class like this with two little ones might just help. And I'm actually expecting to get in April. In Orlando, Kimberly Wiggins, Fox 35 News. There's no one way to do it. You know what I mean? No. That's right. All kinds of families out there. Be happy and enjoy life. It's exactly. a good thing. I love it. All right.